Spyro Enter the Dragonfly is clearly a broken game. Rushed for release on PS2 and GameCube at the tail end of 2002, the game is rife with problems. The many audio and visual glitches affect your enjoyment, and the loading times would make the PS2 Knight Rider game blush. The long load times are only the first of many frustrating aspects. Collision detection is often poor, and Spyro controls like a World War I tank. The story follows on from previous entries in the series. The young dragons are about to be assigned a Dragonfly Guardian, and everyone's happy until, oh no, Ripto appears and accidentally sends the dragonflies across the Nine Realms. Spyro must rescue the dragonflies and free the recently imprisoned Dragon Masters. As you progress and rescue the dragonflies, you unlock more Dragon Breath variants. In turn, this helps you unlock more realms and leads to the final showdown with Ripto. Despite its many flaws, Enter the Dragonfly can be an enjoyable game to play, and for all ages. There's plenty to do with 7,000 gems and 90 dragonflies to collect, but it all depends on how well you can balance this against those otherwise potentially game-breaking issues. Wow, wow.